Okay, medal exchange for March 2023. So, starting from the top, going down, the new 600 medal to the category, we have Super Tandem Law, and I think he's definitely worth it if you don't have him. Personally, he's been dodging me for months since his release, and this unit is crazy good in Kizuna, for not only his amazing captain effect, his amazing special, and the fact that he has one of the best Super Tandems in the game, with a very substantial attack boost. So this unit is essential to deal the maximum output of damage for the quick team in Kizuna. And he's very good in other content, having a very viable captain effect for two classes, Free Spirit and Cerebral. He also has um, 10 tons of paralysis reduction in his captain effect. So he has amazing damage, he has matching orbs, he has an orb boost, and he also has utility in his captain effect. So all around amazing. His special effect gives a very unique chain buff, as well as an attack boost. So he's an amazing uh, damage dealing uh, special. So all around this unit is amazing. Um, so definitely pick him up if you don't have him. But I wait off until the end of the month just to make sure that you uh, don't pull him in this month. Because 600 medals is quite a lot to spend for a unit. So make sure you're not wasting your medals. Then for the 400 medals we have Brook. Um, he's just like a watered down version of Law. Um, he's pretty good for quick super boss if you uh, don't have Law. Ben Beckman or uh, the new Robin, but besides that, the only use you're gonna see he's gonna see is in Grand Voyage for the buggy quest. But besides that, I never see him used. Um, I guess in normal normal uh, versus strength super boss, well not super boss, normal strength Kizuna, he's pretty good. But there's just so many other units you can use. He's really not necessary. Bonnie, don't waste your medals on her. Her special is very nice and unique. And it does have a, she does have her places on team sometimes, but as a captain, she's terrible. Um, her special is quite replaceable, but in a lot of cases, she's the best unit for it. Um, but for 400 medals, she's really not worth it. She's been in your, the 400 medal category for quite a long time, so I just wait off until she gets bumped down. Same for versus Akainu versus Ace, but I think they're a bit more worth it than Bonnie, since they both have uh, amazing captain effects and uh, amazing special effects. And the fact that it's a two-in-one unit. Um, but this unit is very similar to Kaido vs Big Mom in the fact that they are very strong. But there's nothing that makes them stand out from the rest. And uh, since that is a fact, it means that a lot of other units can replace them. And it's just not necessary in modern day. So I'd say just wait enough until they get bumped down to 250. Um, they, may take quite a, they might take quite a while since they are a more recent unit. But... They're, they're still very good and they've been in here for quite a while, so I think they should get bumped down eventually. Um, but yeah, they're just not necessary, so don't don't like, it's not it's not urgent, bro. <laughs> just hold off on your medals. Then for the 250 medal tier, we have Carrot. She's definitely worth it in my opinion. Uh, others would say just consider it. But she her captain effect, she's like so old, she's like 3 or 4 years, bro. But she's still an amazing captain. I use her almost every single month in treasure map. She has an amazing speed captain, giving you two tons of cooldown to all the units. She has a very versatile captain. She boosts a lot of classes. And she's just going to allow your units to go through enemy barriers, through enemy damage reduction and threshold, and through enemy... Um, yeah. <laughs> Basically, she allows you to go through uh, all enemy defensive effects besides defense up. So this means you can just bypass barriers and... Clear content extremely fast, in partnership with her cooldown effects. She also has a very nice special that gives 2 tons of cooldown, and a 2.25x all boost that looks very strong in today's day and age still. Um, and she can also be partnered up with the Dog Storm support for a 1.75x attack to your crew. So she's very good with the special, with that Dog Storm support. Um, and the captain effect is still really good in today's day and age. I think she's still a 4.5x captain, which is viable in most content. Um, she's definitely worth it for 250 medals, in my opinion, if you don't have her. Oh, Nami, she, she just got a bunch of level up rate buffs, but her buffs aren't too insignificant. She, she's very, um, unique in her special. Her captain effect is kind of mediocre if you don't have her with her limit break and, uh, limit break expansion and level up break. Um, but her special is still very viable. She's one of the only units in the game that's going to give you a conditional boost of defense down and a color affinity. Uh, her color affinity is also very um, versatile. It can be used for any type. And then she also is going to give you a cooldown and AoE damage to all enemies. So she gives a lot of stuff. 
but she's really not necessary in a lot of content. Um, she doesn't have any utility. Um, after the level limit break and limit break expansion, she her captain effects are really good though. I think she's a 4.75x captain with a 1.1x color affinity boost in both to her captain effect. Um, so her multiplier gets quite high up if you are hitting with type advantage, which you should be if you are running her as a captain. And her captain effect also gives two turns of cooldown. So she's a very good um, speed captain. And I think as a captain, if you have her completely maxed out, is going to be very viable. So if you do have a very close to max, then I would consider it. But as a as a sub, she's pretty decent, but nothing too crazy. Um, yeah, I'd just say to consider it, she's not a bad choice. Robin, however, I think, um, yeah, she's I, I say she's minimal use. She's never used, but the captain effect's very solid all around. It gives three natural or beneficial, a five point two five x cerebral attack captain, one point two five x HP. She has a 1.5x recovery boost, very unique. And um, yeah, since she has the recovery orbs matching, she's going to be uh, receiving so much healing from every single recovery orb. A very tanky captain, very good for long for, uh, long form content. But besides that, really nothing crazy in the captain effect that makes it stand out. Her special really only gets a tiny upgrade, uh, adding 6 tons of binary reduction with her level of break. Besides that, just a slight multiply increase with her uh, attack boost. But besides that, her upgrades aren't too crazy. She's not really necessary in any content. So honestly, I'd just say hold up on, on her for now. I don't think she's necessary. She's kind of a waste of your medals. Usopp, minimal use. Grand Voyage, Kuro, that's about it. Very good captain. Actually, um, 4.75x to shooter characters. Also makes every single natural orb beneficial. The only captain that does that. So very good on the matching orb department. No HP boost, no recovery boost. Um, he also has some nice delay mechanics, but doesn't profit with conditional boost. That's so kind of weird. Um, his special is quite weak, but he gives like four turns of a orb boost or an attack boost. But they're only two X, so quite weak. But it, it carries over multiple stages. So for longer form content, he's kind of nice. But this is really not a place for delay in the modern age of OBTC. You really can't take your time defeating opponents. So I'd say he's really not really necessary, but for Grand Voyage, I'd say he's in minimal use. But besides that, not really that good. So that's where all the units lie in the March Metal Tier category tier list. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions about the Metal Exchange, ask them down below. But with all that being said, make sure to like and subscribe for more content in the future. And I'll see you guys within the next one. Bye.